Welcome to Homebrewing TV. Today we will be reviewing the 30 liter Firmzilla All Rounder Fermenter. Stick with us. Alright, let's get to it. Uh, first off, I just want to say that uh, as a full disclosure, uh, Kegland did send me the uh, fermenter for free uh, with the understanding that I'm going to give it an honest review. When I review stuff, I like to put it through all of the paces. I like to push it to its limits. Sometimes I go beyond those limits. Um, but let's first get into what all comes in the package. The All Rounder comes with the stainless steel base, the 30 liter fermenter, the lid with a pressure relief valve, three piece airlock, a stainless steel handle, comes with adhesive markings that show liters and gallons. The markings, I mean, there's absolutely no instructions that come with a Firmzell when you first get it. So, but this tape here does say to align with bottom dot. I don't know if you're able to see that or not, but now I wasn't sure if the bottom dot was this or if it was the dead center, so I stuck it there. Um, filling it with water, I thought I had it uh, dead center, as you can see, but then I put a level on it, leveled in both directions, and found that, that I was off. So there's really no good way of having an accurate measurement of the liquid that's inside of the vessel. It's, it's there more for a general reference. Uh, which makes sense because, well, it, it teeters around. There's no bottom, if you will. So that's your base model. Um, I did not test it this way. They also sent me the uh, pressurization kit, uh, which includes the uh, dip tube with the float on the end of it, um, two posts. Uh, I believe now they have different colors, uh, an orange and a yellow. But as far as I know, um, they're interchangeable. You can connect uh, liquid or a, a gas line to either one of them, at least with the, uh, the orange you can. They also sent along the full assembly of a spunding valve. So you get the uh, gas connection and all the tubing and connectors and the uh, bow tie spunding valve. So we'll get into all of these things as we get there. Um, one thing I do recommend, it doesn't come with I don't think it comes with either kit, but it's definite must you want to get is the uh, the nylon strapping kit, so that when you pick it up, the whole base comes with it. It also keeps it from falling over. So the first time I tested it out, uh, I assembled the pressurization kit, um, and we put in. Um, we put in seven gallons, so it brings it pretty much up to the max capacity. And <laughs> I guess uh, that don't do that. Uh, when we did the uh, pressurization, yes, it, it held the pressure to a point, just erupted everywhere um, and uh, made a huge mess, lost a lot of my yeast. Um, it's just, it going beyond the five gallon or 19 20 liters is probably not recommended okay so now as for my second garage we only put in the five gallons like we were supposed to um, well like I said there's no instructions it doesn't say what you're supposed to but I'm gonna guess that's what you're supposed to put into this unit and uh, pressurized it and it did the fermentation everything well perfectly the spunning well uh, the spunning valve worked perfectly um, and it, it fermented my beer in 48 hours uh, under pressure uh, and that was, that was phenomenal to see that happen. I was able to move it from the fermentosaurus into my keg without any air getting to it, uh, which as you know is optimal. You know, the less air that gets to the beer, uh, the better. All right, so let's go over some of the things that I do and do not like about the uh, Firmzilla All-Rounder. It's very easy to clean. It's got a large uh, 120 millimeter uh, 
opening at the top so it's very easy to get your arm down into clean out uh, I mean I used it with you know a keg cleaner um, but it's very easy to get your arm down into it's pressure rated for up to uh, well up to 35 psi but you're never gonna go that high I usually don't pressure ferment anything higher than is usually somewhere between 10 and 12 psi uh, it's clear so you can see what's going on inside uh, it's made out of a PET plastic which is impermeable a lot of the other fermenters uh, will use uh, PP or uh, HDPE plastics and with those type of plastics they kind of absorb the aromas and stuff from previous beers and that just gets transferred from one beer to the next to the next that does not happen with the uh, from Zilla and if you're going to use it as a, a pressure uh, kit um, it's reasonable it's I mean it's reasonably priced uh, the base kit the one without the pressurization is uh, roughly seventy dollars at the time of this recording and uh, you're going to want to add, like I said, that nylon strap, which is another $8, so you're looking at at least $78 for the base kit. If you're going to do the pressurization, um, the plastic posts and the dip tube uh, with the float is another $16, bucks, and then you're going to need a spunning valve of some kind. Here are some of the things I do not like about the uh, Firmzilla 30 liter all-rounder. The measuring units on the side, uh, other than like I said, just giving you a guesstimate of how much liquid is in there, they're pretty much useless. Uh, they don't really tell you anything solid because the thing will tip and turn and if it's not completely level and you didn't put that thing on exactly where it's supposed to go, which of course you don't know where it's supposed to go because there's no clear instructions, um, the measuring units aren't really worth anything. The screw on lid is nearly impossible to get off uh, I, I did two different tests uh, the first time I couldn't get it off because I thought it had you know because everything had blown over it just got stuck with it with the you know all that kind of yeast and croys and stuff had to get jammed up in there the second time it went perfectly and nothing reached it I still could not get that thing off to save my life there's no pressure But I cannot get that off. I ultimately had to run it underneath hot water for like three or four minutes, or like really hot water, to get it to the point where I could loosen it up and get it off. So the lid, while it, granted it does give you a really tight seal, the lid is very, very hard to get off of this thing. The only other thing I don't like about this system is if you're going to use it as just a regular fermenter without the pressurization kit, is the price. Um, there are plenty of other plastic fermenters that have valves on them so you can get your beer out of that are almost half the cost of this one. Now, of course, the benefit of this system is that you can turn it into a pressurization unit. Um, but currently on their website, if you go on there, there is a, an entire kit that includes the strap, um, the uh, spunding valve, which is almost, you know, like I said, $45 on their website. The entire kit they have on there currently for uh, $89.75. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I'd jump on that as soon as you can. And you can decide whether or not it's a bad or a good thing. But the all-rounders do not have a valve at the bottom to remove the yeast so you can collect it. Now, honestly, I don't do a lot of yeast collection. But even if I wanted to, the way that this is set up... Um, especially if you're using that dip tube, you can have it pull all the beer off the top of that and then have all the yeast still settled down there at the bottom. And you can wash it at that point anyway. So there's really not, it's really not a negative that it doesn't have a separate collection vessel attached to the bottom of this. Well, there you have it. Uh, the Firmzilla 30 liter all-rounder. Um, overall, uh, it's a very nice, good unit. Um, you have to decide on price how you're going to use it, um, but it's a solid unit and it works well when you don't overload it. Um, so I guess I would give that a thumbs up. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if this is the first time with us, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way it lets you know when we do have new content. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead, share that with like-minded brewers. And uh, until next time, keep brewing, friends. <laughs>